How to use a MARSARS cold water rescue sling. This video alone is not meant to teach surface ice rescue. Rather, it is intended to be used in conjunction with a recognized surface ice rescue course with certified instructors. Prudent modern day ice rescuers now rely upon this rescue sling to secure a victim with independent positive buoyancy. A cold water rescue sling is a buoyant device that has a asymmetric carabiner at the end with quick opening, 6,000 pound polyester web strap covered by foam, and two blisters that limit the sizing strap's range of movement. With proper training, it takes about 10 seconds from initial contact to establish victim buoyancy. With arms atop sling, the head is protected through light snow or slush. A sled provides protection through thicker elements. A sizing strap is used to conform a sling to the patient's body. This adjustable strap is simply a black 2 inch wide velcro covered piece of webbing. When released the strap self adjusts as it wraps back upon itself. To prepare for use place two fingers next to slings innermost blister. Now release fingers and hold black strap in place. Note open gap where sling has been formed. This gap must be tightly closed to keep sizing strap in place. Close strap by bending strap back as indicated. Pressing strap against itself and form a loop or bite. Now press this bite down and form as pictured. Use this hand and wrap remaining portion of strap around itself as shown. Double check your measurement. The sling is now pre-rigged for a child's torso. For adults, the strap will self-adjust. To don, extend your dominant arm through sling, resting the device upon opposite shoulder with sizing strap over heart and tail pointing forward. To don a sling for ice rescue, the rescuer must first be tethered to his device. With tether in place, sling is now donned. All MARSAR's 150 foot and 300 foot ice rescue tether bags and 300 foot rescue reels feature a pre-rigged connection system. At this point our cold water ice rescue sling would be connected to its tether. The tether's hook is connected to the front of the rescuer's chest harness as shown. To rig your own system, provide a hookup point exactly six foot from the tether's end. Rescuer's dominant hand grabs victim's forearm. Reaching low, rescuer grabs base of sling extends sling down arm, up victim's arm and overhead. To keep victim and sling stationary, rescuer pushes victim's forearm down, reaches through sling and lifting up opposite arm. With patient now buoyant, rescuer lifts sling with weak hand, reaches under sling with strong hand. Sling's sizing strap is grabbed, pulled, and wrapped tightly around slings gathered tubes. Now let's review the slings main features. A cold water rescue sling is fitted to a patient's body by a sizing strap. This strap is tightly positioned two fingers from slings inner blister. The sling must be worn a certain way. To don the sling properly, take your dominant hand through the sling Put the sizing strap over your heart with the tail end sticking out. Cold water rescue sling must operate flawlessly when frozen. For assured reliability, a non-locking carabiner that opens when frozen is used throughout the MARSARS ice rescue system. And always remember to cautiously approach victim. If this person moves to grab you, remain clear 
extend sling, and redirect victim's physical aggression towards self-rescue. Now let's go through one final demonstration. Side approach, dominant hand grabs. Reach low on sling, extend far, overhead. Hold sling and arm together, reach through, lift opposite arm. Now hold sling with weak hand, dominant grabs, sizing strap. Pull sizing strap around, back onto itself. You have now established independent positive buoyancy for your patient.